so it's time to solve problem number three. Uh, as you can see on your screen, problem number three is given. So in this particular problem, if we consider, then we will find that 8.4% of a coupon bond, uh, which is issued by a state Indiana, and uh, it is uh, issued by par value dollar 1000, and it will be sold uh, as the same amount dollar uh, 1000. And uh, if we consider the three uh, different marginal tax bracket, which is 15%, 25%, and 35%, what will be the equivalent tax yield? So we have to find out that uh, as three requirements. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Therefore, we will write problem number three and the given information. Coupon interest on municipal bond. So we can write interest of municipal bond I am equal 8.4 percent on the other hand as requirement we are given marginal tax bracket T equal 15 percent on the other hand in the requirement B we are given marginal tax bracket T equal 25% and uh, C we are given different marginal tax bracket so we have to write 35% we have to find out out of this three information the equivalent tax yield so we can write equivalent tax yield Y ET equal what? Therefore, requirement A, where we are given marginal tax bracket T equal 15%, we will write, we know the equivalent tax yield YET equal, we know interest income on municipal bond divided by 1 minus tax rate so we are here 8.4 percent it means 0.084 and tax rate is 15 percent so we have to subtract 1 minus 0.15 so we have here 0.0845 and point 85 so if we divide then we will get point 0.0988 it means 9.88 percent so this is equivalent yield when the tax bracket marginal tax bracket t equal 15 percent now we will find out another requirement uh, of equivalent tax yield considering marginal tax rate when 25 percent so we can write requirement number B and we know equivalent tax yield and it is Y E T so I am divided by 1 minus T and in this case we are given as marginal tax rate 25 percent so we can write 0.25 it means 0.75 equal 0 0.1120 if we multiply by 100 to show in percentage form then it will be 11.20 percent and now we will move on to compute requirement c So where we will write equivalent tax yield YET and again we have to write IM1 minus T so we have 0 0.084 divided by 1 minus we have given us 35% marginal tax rate so 0.35 we have written and 
0.084 divided by 0.65 so if we divide then we will get 0.1292 it means 12.92 percent we have computed here the equivalent tax yield using the similar formula as you can see all the three requirements we have used the same formula but i have written the formula again and again you do not require to write the formula again or repeatedly if you are given in a, a similar condition or similar uh, situation uh, you just write one time of a particular math if it is repeatedly required to write down if you want then you can write no problem but you can skip to write again and again the similar formula into a single math therefore i believe you have come to understand how to solve this kind of problem if you are given in future mm -hmm.